This is the last trip from the series of traveling in the beautiful land of Armenia, and I would like to end it with the Mount Ararat, the principal national symbol of Armenia. Despite lying outside the borders of modern Armenia, the mountain has been considered a sacred by Armenians, and it began to be identified with mountains of Ararat described in the Bible as the resting place of Noah's Ark. Located at the foot of Mount Ararat, Korvirab has been repeatedly rebuilt since the 5th century. Legend says that pagan king Teredad III imprisoned St. Gregory the Illuminator here for 14 years. After his cruel treatment of the saint, the king was cursed by madness, like Rome in the forest by the behavior of wild boar, and was miraculously cured by St. Gregory. St. Gregory subsequently became the king's religious mentor and they led the proselytizing activity in the country. In the year 301, Armenia was the first country in the world to be declared a Christian nation. These days, pilgrims climb down to the pit where St. Gregory the Illuminator was incarcerated located some 60 meters below the chapel and accessible by a metal ladder. The room is circular, but only 4 meters wide. The Arani cave is the site with artifacts dating the Bronze Age. At the cave archaeologists have discovered that it is likely the world's oldest winery and ancient human brain. The remnants of a 5,000 year old skirt made of straw and the world's oldest leather shoe. Excavations of the Arani cave lead archaeologists and scientists to believe that the caves were inhibited by the people during the late Chalcolithic period, which is from 6 to 3000 BCE. Scientists and archaeologists contend that the cave was divided into spaces for specific purposes, places of habitation, places of economic and material production, and places designed for ritual and burial rites. Archaeologists have uncovered seeds, walnuts, the remains of charcoal, a bone awl, an obsidian blade, countless ceramic remnants, bones of sheep, goats and pigs, and several human teeth. And now we are approaching to Naravank Monastery, one of the picturesque places in Armenia. It was built in the 13th century and located in a narrow tall brick red gorge made by Magu River. Naravank was a residence of princes from Armenian Feodal Arbelian dynasty. The Armenian architect and sculptor Mamik, who is known of his stylish Hachkar works, spent portions of his life here contributing his unique work to this World Heritage Site. Here is another twist about Mamik. He fell in love with the daughter of Sunik's province governor, Prince Orbelian. 
But the governor didn't see the future of his daughter with an architect and tried to get rid of him by challenging Mamik with an impossible task. Mamik was ordered to build a big church complex in a short time. If the project was successful, then Mamik could marry the governor's daughter. Never underestimate the power of love. It seems impossible to accomplish the task so quickly, but apparently the church complex was coming to its end even before the due date. The governor was furious and sent his servant to kill Mamik, who was pushed down from the dome of the church where the architect was working. Thus, Mamik died before he could marry the love of his life. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to be updated of the new releases.